Today I'm going to show you how to stamp and stencil an outdoor bench. DIY paint is made mostly of clay so it will not fade in the sun and once you seal it with a water-based top coat or liquid patina or big top, it'll stay. I wouldn't suggest wax being in the heat, but have I done it? Yes, so you can do it. All the products I use in this video will be linked in the description box, so check it out. And I try to release a new video every Friday, sometimes it's Saturdays, but once a week. So I'd love to have you follow me on all my socials or at Decorizing Your Life. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. Hello, my name is Shyla Court with Decorizing Your Life. I have a storefront in Watonga, Oklahoma. And today we're going to be doing this hodgepodge bench. Somebody like literally used like low wood skills, amateur level wood skills is all it takes to make this bench and some scraps. And so we're gonna just spoof it up. It was white and my daughter and her husband moved upstairs in my studio apartment we just finished. Right now, as we speak, if they would run the dishwasher, it would fall down on my studio table. Yeah, so the guy's gonna come tomorrow night and try to fix that. She loves green, which is one of my store colors. So she said I could paint it. And we just had a town festival and you would not believe the people that sat on this. This like, okay, so this space, you need a little bitty tiny booty because these ladies, they were all sitting on front of my store like they were about to fall off the bench but they were making it work because they were tired. So anyways, maybe go bigger on the base if you make this. They literally just hodgepodged a bit. So we're gonna make it cuter. You can't see it but you're gonna be able to in a minute. We're gonna do the JRV Mara wing stencil. And I think I have one of these available on my website. I sell JRV and I sell a bunch of stuff. You can go to my, I like to use these two for a dollar cutting boards from Dollar Tree. And then we're gonna put welcome on here. Things here, um, if I could have spread a model and then people sit here and you can take a picture and it'll look like wings. Now, if this was the back of the bench and they were sitting over here and I did the same thing and they turned their head cause these are so close together, um, it would look like wings on their back. So that's what I'm doing. Stencil brush, I could have probably used bigger. Whoa, oh my word, way too much. Okay, here we go. So load your brush and unload. And unfortunately, that's probably gonna go everywhere because it's wonky. Hang on, let me try to bend this. Okay, so load and unload because if you don't, it'll go up under there and look. Oh, we're also gonna wet distress this at the end, but I went ahead and wet distress the top. So hold this, even though you got it taped down, which I couldn't tape it on this side, this is the only place I could literally tape it. You wanna kinda hold it flat so it doesn't go up under there. A lot of times with the black, you can get away with one, one coat. I think this would be cute to do some golden ticket over this black. I think of wings, I just think of gold, you know? If it does go up under your stencil and look kind of blurry and not very good and sharp, which a good stencil and a good stencil brush makes a lot better success um, with that. But if it does still happen, then you can slightly sand it with a sanding block and it totally is fine, guys. It really, really is good. Is let this dry and then maybe get a second color and and line it back up and slightly offset it a little bit and put that on there and then it gives a some really cool dimension 3d commit dimension as well i have what i call my friend actually taught me this she's a shabby chic girl too and does all this stuff and she calls these funky junky pieces that like chairs that are about to fall apart that you really want to wouldn't feel safe setting in you cut a hole in them and put a mum in them or you just set them out there, you know, and they're called yard art. That's what she calls it. Well, I had some yard art in front of my store during this town festival and there was like a 350 pound man, I'm guessing, but he's about 300 and this was a miniature chair anyways, like little scale because people in the olden days were skinnier. So everything was smaller, the door frames, everything. He was out there sitting in my chair for hours and I was like, mm it's gonna crash it's gonna crash but I felt it was sturdy enough I didn't say anything well then I had another one that I set something in so nobody would set in it and um it sold the thing in it sold and I left it out there and there was this 
grandpa with this sweet little baby and you could just see the the chair was already hit i went out there and i was like um 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 i could even talk i was like that's yard art you could just crash with your baby and he's like oh so you got to be careful put signs on it do things do to line these up it's not perfect but this is how i do it. i've already kind of washed the back off so it will stick and then this is already washed so that it'll stick because if there's dirt on either of them when you go to turn it over one of the letters will fall off and can mess up your project so i kind of line it up how i want it so i kind of just kind of i don't i don't make it perfect i just kind of space it decently where i want it and then we only have one E, so we kind of got to leave that. So you can get a similar letter and let it be the fill-in if you want. Okay, so I think, I think I want it about like that. Okay, now which side did I clean? Darn it, I had that. I think it's this one. Okay, and all of these won't fit on there. So we'll go ahead and do this one. Go ahead and take this and line it up with something to help you um, know that you can just put that on the edge and it all. I thought that was brilliant. Um, so I'm going to line it up back here, which this has got a missing edge because it's special. Go ahead and do that. Okay. And then I flip it over. Then you can detail it out and kind of line them up with the grids. And you can even count the squares in between if you want to be really particular. Let's get our brayer, that same paint, and brayer it. I bought some cheap ones off of Amazon, and this is my Iron Orchid. And this works because, you know, you need a lot of brayers. But this literally has a higher quality, like it has a little bit of squish to it. And this is like hard as a brick mat. And just, it, it makes a difference. If you're wondering, should I spend the money for the Iron Orchid brayers? Yes, you should. I just wish the sisters would come out with a longer one, you know. But, and they probably will at some point. Okay, so load your brayer. You can do it with ink, but it takes longer to dry. Ooh, this is not looking like it's, you know, I really don't know that I have, I actually think this might be, I might have had the wrong one. This may not be black velvet. Oh my word, you know what else this might be? Dark and decrepit. I just washed all my bottles, so I think, I, I don't know what we got going on, but it looks like it's working, so we're gonna go having some problems when you're going live for a paint company that's not even your own page well let's just go let's just see if it'll show it you could do all some measuring and you could tape it off and have it all exact so hoover over commit hold it steady just tr i just kind of like to trace it i mean you could do like this too but sometimes with the letters i just like trace it Maybe it is the right one. Okay, look, it's looking good. Okay, I like these, uh, I think these are called the block letter because you can paint inside of them and do some, some fun stuff. All right, so now let's take this off. If I wanted to go back over that, make it darker or just kind of shore one up, you can for just take them off and freehand them. Do it like this, hang on. So we got the, well, nope, it'll work like this, okay. One time I was doing a sign. I don't know if any of you guys remember. Um, and I spelled lemonade wrong and all the people were screaming at me in the comments. Lemonade, that's a long word, right? And so I painted over it and did it right. Spelled it wrong again, twice. And didn't know until afterwards and I was so sick of that sign. I was so sick of it. Okay, because I haven't sealed this, I could just kind of, yeah, I wipe. I've got some on there. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, now, same story. You hope that your thing is clean so that it'll stick and not fall off. And I'm gonna kind of line it. I know I had about two squares apart for spacing. Let's do it. 
roll in my brayer. Same thing with the brayer. You can kind of, as when you stencil, load and kind of unload. To get it inside there, go ahead and get a little bit off. I'm gonna show you guys some stuff that I'm working on in here. My studio is a, a wreck from the festival and just throwing everything inside to, to deal with it today. We moved my kids in, so I've had like, I took Sundays off, but I've had six, at least 10 hour days, like not just 10 hour days, like physical labor, lifting and moving it, and them into the upstairs and then getting this ready. And I'm, I'm pretty much delirious today. I'm not, I'm not joking to you. I am like delirious. <laughs> My body is like, please, lady, please do miniature furniture, which I've got a whole bunch of dollhouses right behind me. If you've watched any of these, you may have seen them in the live. That's what I'm going to do when I retire is my... This may not be good, but hopefully it'll be inspiration. You know what? It's good enough with one coat. Here we go. And then this one, you would just turn it over, which I need to clean it up or I'll get it on there because you do it on this side and then it's reversible. I got wings, see? Like when people do it on a um, building. It is to wet distress. I have a really wet wash rag. Sometimes when I wet distress, I work with two rags. I get one really wet and then one, you know, wet and I keep them separate because sometimes when you're wet distressing, it starts looking muddy. And so just go on and do your thing and then take your clean rag and just kind of do like that and it just takes it back just how it should be sharp and crisp and look at that. Look how easy this is. I love this about DIY paint. I was with another paint company and theirs you had like, it wasn't a true chalk paint, it was a chalk type paint. And um, I'm not gonna say it was, wasn't good paint, but you had like a window, like after it dried five hours, that was it. You were not west distressing after that. You could sand it with a sander. This you can do it up to six months if it hasn't been sealed. This is actually one coat of Monet first, and then I did a coat of Salty Kiss. It is, okay, look at that. You've seen how hard I worked, I didn't work hard at all. And what you can do is kind of spray it, and let it set for a minute, and then it reactivates it, and then wet distress if you're having kind of a hard time. It's using dark and decrepit, which dark and decrepit works. It works, see? IOD block letters, JRV, Mara, wing stencil, um, Salty Kiss and Monet, and this is over latex paint working beautifully. So just know it does go over. This is my latest piece. I haven't named her yet. Did the little ombre 